I love this place, man. It's a lot like a fight gym. We came in, did a little bit of exercise, stretching, then we learned technique, then we did sparring. I mean, it's, it's like a fight gym. It's what you'd expect finding a fight gym, which is why I usually don't like traditional martial arts. They don't fight enough. These guys fighting every night, several rounds every night. It's so awesome, man. So look, if you're in Phnom Penh, come train here. If you're at home, try out judo. You know, maybe you're going to find you like it. It may not be what you think it is. You know, you might think it's boring or robotic or whatever, but actually there's a lot of useful, useful, useful fighting in there. And, of course, good for your strength, cardio, and all those other things. Wow. Okay, so all the guys, all the guys you saw me sparring with, two of them were and MMA champions basically, and two of them, the two black belts, they're silver medal winners in the Southeast Asia Games. So that's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, see you guys. Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. Good job. Good. Yeah. And you know, you know, very lucky because Sea Games next time no wrestling. I get in the next two Sea Games there will not be any wrestling events. So judo is really in a much better position than wrestling right now. The next two SEA uh, Games will be held in Malaysia and Singapore. Malaysia does not have a wrestling team. Singapore, for some reason, has decided not to have wrestling in the SEA Games. So judo will be there, and these judo guys can still keep competing and trying to win medals and trying to get money to support their families. But sadly for the wrestlers, there will not be another wrestling competition in the Southeast Asia Games till 2019. Too good to you, very lucky, because next SEA Games, no wrestling, and next next SEA Games, no wrestling. But you don't. Know. Yeah, because of the judo, you know, we have a long time, more long time of the and then how they work in the Olympic Games and the uh, Asian Games. Game. Right, right. Yeah, judo, judo's been around. I mean, it's a hundred, about 120 years, 130 years, you know, but it's been in the Olympics since the 1964 Tokyo Games. You know, but from the judo, if you know where to go, you can step on to the... Yeah, that's right, that's yeah. right, absolutely. And also, with judo, they have a chance in the sea game, so it's silver medal, very good. You know, so that's, that's great. Good job. Okay, thank you. Good to see you. That was an ankle lock. I wrapped my leg around his leg, and he put pressure on my ankle, and I had a tap. Hey, judo is in the SEA Games, in the Olympic Games. It's got a very well-organized international federation, uh, national federations, local championships. So one of the nice things about judo is it'll take you anywhere in the world. Now, I don't usually disclose what my, uh, my uh, Black Belt uh, magazine columns are going to be about, but we have the destinations column usually about the place that I go to and train martial arts. But sometime in 2016, you're going to see an article called Destinations Judo, and the concept is that with judo, Judo, you can go anywhere in the world. It's practiced everywhere. You can fly to Russia, you can fly to Japan, fly to France, and you can do Judo. Judo will take you all around the world. I'm Antonio Grisefo. We're here in Phnom Penh at the, let's see, where are we? We're at the uh, Cambodia Judo Federation. We're at the Cambodia Judo Federation in Phnom Penh and Hey, 
I'm Antonio Grisanto. We are here at the Cambodia Judo Federation. Is that right? Yes. Cambodia Judo Federation. Okay, and you got training here every night? Yes, every, uh, every day. We start from uh, 5.30 to 7.30. We, uh, we train, uh, we train uh, five days from Monday to Friday. And then it's uh, morning time, early morning time to start from 5 to 7. Okay. Well, for the national training. Okay, and I start wrestling at 9, so I don't see them <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> I'm still sleeping. Hey, but anyway, if you're in Phnom Penh, come train at the Judo Club. If you're at home somewhere in the world, go train Judo. It's an awesome sport. I'm Antonio Grisefo, the Brooklyn Monk. Yes. Ding. Yeah, please come to train the Judo. It's a great class. Yes.